well, like I always say, sometimes things work out well, sometimes they work out really well, sometimes they don't work out. This one worked out well. Where am I? Right behind me, that is the church that Whitney Houston got started in. That's where she was discovered, singing in the choir. And also, sadly, that's where her funeral was held. Here, I'll give you a closer look. So, before I started filming, I went in to uh, talk to the people that worked there, see if I could uh, video or even take some pictures inside. They were so sweet. They said, no, they don't allow that. But security guard Simone took me on a little tour inside and I did not take any secret pictures or secret videos because that is not nice when they asked me not to. But I got to see the pews. I got to see the, where the choir is set up. And I'm sure there's pictures online that I can find that I can sneak in right now. And there you go. And I got to see uh, the, uh, I guess it's the pulpit where Whitney, uh, where her casket was laid out. It is huge inside. It was very odd being in there. It was beautiful, but it was just very odd to, because uh, I've seen the funeral, I watched the whole thing on YouTube, where you're watching right now. So I watched the whole thing on YouTube, and it's weird being in there. It looks, uh, well, it looks the same. Those iconic images. But I was more interested in the pews behind it. That's where Whitney first got started. There's microphones set up. I've never really been in a Baptist church before. There's another shot of the side entrance. That's where I went in. I was surprised when I was in there uh, at the setup of the band. Like, the band wasn't playing or anything, but there was so much, um, so many instruments, drums, keyboards, you name it. Everything was in there, like everything was in there, and microphones hanging down over the um, where the where the choir sings. That. It's really cool. I would love, she says that they, they have, uh, I was gonna say shows, but they have events all the time and it's not just Sunday morning. And if I wasn't leaving New Jersey, I would love to stick around and hear that because that would just be impressive. A full gospel choir. Gospel choir in a Baptist church, I guess so. Well, it's a choir, it's a church choir. And that's where Whitney started singing. And uh, there's a 200, 200 member uh, choir in there. Not right now, but 200 member. And it's led by Sissy Houston, who is Whitney Houston's mother. She directs the choir. I asked if Sissy was there. She was not. Because that would be a, quite a thrill to meet her. Indeed. So, let's take another look around the side. If you're ever in Newark, 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 this is where I am. Sussex Avenue, Dr. Emily Houston Plaza. Day Street, I'm at the intersection of three streets. I don't know how. Wait, Dr. Emily Houston, Day Street, Sussex Avenue. I'm at the intersection of three streets. That's really confusing. Huh. And I believe right across the street, uh, that's uh, some sort of shelter. And then there's a nice charter school there. And then right over there is New York City. And that's where I'm going for a while. Oh, and Rutgers University is right there. So a lot to see. Statue of Liberty, not too far from here. Because when you're driving around uh, Lower New Jersey or, well, New Jersey, close to Hudson and Lower New York, you see the Statue of Liberty all the time. And it's like, oh, Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty, yeah, Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty. 
but it's always a thrill to see it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to insert some pictures, some stills into this one because I didn't get to uh, uh, take pictures of video inside, which is understandable. And I wasn't gonna push it because I got to see what I want to see. And I wish I could have shown you uh, through the, my camera, but I can tell you it looks exactly the same as what I, the screenshots that I'm showing you and the pictures that, have, that are online of the church. But yeah, Whitney Houston got her start right here. This is where she was discovered. This is her area of Newark. This is where she grew up. She came a long way and it's really sad how she ended up but her legacy lives on, her music lives on. And the current pastor is Joe A. Carter, in case you're wondering. That's something to tell you. But yeah, let's take one last look at the church. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of the church where Whitney Houston got started and the site of where her funeral was. The New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey. I guess that's it. So I can show you more. But I showed you something. More than most, maybe. Thanks to the people that were there. That was really sweet of them to let me in and take a look around. All right, I'm off somewhere else. Peace out.